Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at uh, step number 36, uh, rather 37 of um, the 2015 May-June um, IGCC ICT paper 2.1. Okay, so in the last video, we ended on step number 36 and in this video, we start looking at step number 37. So 37 says, produce a report from all the data, which one shows only the records where the location is in Oxon or any part of London and the season permit is actually 45 uh, pounds or more. Um, two shows only the fields, location, field, um, venue name, best fish, day permit, um, season permit in this order with data and labels fully displayed and then um, sorts the data into ascending order of location and then descending order of season. Uh, permit and then um, fits on a, s a single page wide and has a page orientation of portrait and calculates the average season permit position below the season permit column and formatted as uh, uh, currency and it should have a label average cost to the left of this average and includes a heading capital uh, season tickets at the top of the page and has your name send number candidate number at the bottom of your report okay so this is this is what we're going to do um in this in this video okay so let's go ahead and um, start uh, looking at um, um, step 37 okay so what i'm going to do again i'll divide this um, um working or step 37 into two parts and um, the first part we're going to identify the data which we can work on uh, using um, uh, a query and then in the last part we're going to build our report based on the query that we would have designed so the first uh, th um, three parts or the first two parts I, would pref I prefer working with them um, in a in a query and then I'll use from sorting um, I'll do that in the report okay so so let's go ahead and start with this one first of all to identify the fields in this order so let's get location venue name best fish and um, day permit and season permit um, as the ones that we're going to um, work on in a query okay so create new query and simple query with that and this time we're going to get um, location and then we get venue name and we'll get best fish and we get day permit and lastly we're going to get season permit okay season permit so these are your uh, fields go to next and modify and finish so the next step that we are supposed to do uh, now that we have these fields we need to show only the records where the location is in Oxon and any part of London and the season permit is above 45 or equal to 45. So location is supposed to be Oxon or London. So location, we're going to type um, Oxon or London. Now you need to be very careful it says or oh, any part of um, London any part of London so what you need to do is um, you need to put it in um, in uh, you need to put asterisk um, just before and after London so that um, in case there is any word that contains London in other words you're just looking for a word that contains London so you say oxon or and then put two asterisk signs um enclose london in two asterisk signs okay so run it and it should be able to select um, um only oxon and london okay so north london east london and south london or west london that should be perfectly fine so go back to design view then we're going to put in another criteria um, this one is that the season permit is supposed to be 45 uh, pounds or more so um, season permit we're going to make it um, 45 pounds or more so greater or equal to 45 run it and you should see automatically that 
um, you should have um, 45 um, there and um, yeah so from the least value that you should have is actually 45 okay go back to design view and less otherwise let me just verify so we are done with the step number one and we're done with step number two so based on this now we're going to build a query and um, from the query we'll be able to see how far we can go okay so save it go to create report wizard and you're yeah, getting all the fields that were uh, created using query uh, one so just get all the fields and go to next next but this time now you, this is where you're going to do the sorting okay so the sorting we are going to sort the data into ascending order of location and then descending order of season permit so let's start ascending order of location and descending order of season permit so make sure that this is what you have there um, then next and then uh, make sure that it is the page orientation uh, is in portrait and it fits on a single page wide so adjust it so that all fields fit on a page okay so this one should be checked and make sure that it's in portrait go to next uh, modify and then you can get the title from here so the title is this one includes the heading capital tickets whatever just copy it and just go ahead and paste it just here okay so that's the title for the report and um, modify it and click on finish so already you should have this uh, working out perfectly just try to run it in print preview and you should see that it is uh, already uh, very good um, the only difference um, is that some fields are not showing or some fields have been rearranged um, you can see that um, season permit has actually come um, somewhat in a wrong position so don't worry um, access may sometimes do that um, 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 I may not be have the technical explanation why it does that at times especially if you do the sorting um, not in the query but you do the sorting around here then you're going to experience such problems okay but it's not really a big issue so um, just close this and uh, what you're going to do is um, take it to um, layout view and we're going to swap okay so we're going to take a swap of this um, this field and take it to some other place so let me get this field first of all to create some space um, or what I'll do is that let me take it back to um, design view um, where we know this one design view and then I'll get um, just enlarge this Um, yeah enlarge it a little bit and then get this one season permit both of them drag them to the end then get these ones now drag it here um, I did select something okay drag it here and get this one inner no dead permit and drag it here okay so what I want to do now is to preview it and that looks good so we're just now going to eliminate the space that we have here and just make sure that this one is fully visible this side so go back to design view okay and just drag this here and um, drag it a little bit further and take this one this side and enlarge this one a little bit and take it here and preview it okay so yeah so that should be fine um, maybe if you guys encounter that the window that just pops out I can explain what happens with that it says the section width is greater than the page width um, there are no items in additional space and some pages may be blank so what this mean is um, actually is telling you that you do have some space existing this and especially if this one um, is um, is is existing so what you can do is to actually uh, drag um, this one so in the footer I don't need anything in the page footer um, so I'll remove that and I'll drag this one this side okay so you can go ahead and preview it now and you should see that it will work out perfectly so so we are done with um, this one now what we need to do is to insert 
um, um, to calculate the average cost to the left of this average so what we want to do now is to um, just come here and we need to put just below season now there are two ways that you can do that now sometimes access behaves very funny you can click on the um, the field that you want to calculate the average and come here and select average and it is going to put in the footer average and then try to preview it and see if it's going to run out perfectly and yeah it does run perfectly so what we need to do is now to just add um, we're just going to add some label and put the label here and um, the label is supposed to be average cost so I'm just going to copy this one okay and come back here and paste it in here average cost preview it and um, you should see that average cost is there and the um, the actual value um, which is 67.09 is actually there as well so if in case you missed out how I did uh, calculate the average I didn't have to type out the formula and all uh, I just uh, whilst I was in design view um, I just selected a field where I wanted the calculation to be done and then I went to here where it says totals and selected average and automatically um, access did put um, some space okay so let me just put um, push this one down there so it looks good okay so that should be it um, so let's go ahead and see if we've done all um, there so we done this one calculates the average season permit position below the season permit column and formatted as currency so what you need to do is just format this one as currency as well so right click and go to property and decimal places two and it's formatted as currency so that should be fine um, the next thing um, just verify that um, we did this one we did this one and um, uh, we've done this one and we've done this one the last thing that we're supposed to do is actually to insert our name center number and candidate number at the bottom of the report okay so let's go ahead and put the name uh, candidate number uh, as well as um, our our center number at the bottom of um, this report okay <sighs> by the way guys I'm now feeling a bit sleepy <laughs> um, okay so what I'm going to do is to just go back here in the bottom of the report I'm going to insert a label and um, just put it just there and put in Chikasa Evans um, and ZM 556 and 0001 okay so um, preview it and you see that you have your name average cost and all and on top you have the capital season ticket title and you have everything perfectly fine okay so that uh, brings us to the end of this um, uh, tutorial uh, on step 37 I'll end here and in the next video I'll continue with step number 39 and finish off um, this video with step 39 and 40 and then we can go ahead and do um, step 44 in the next video in the other video okay so thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you just in a short while in this next video